What about the mysterious cave with the weird flowers? Oh, like, oh. so they're kind of referencing things that they can like. Yes, they reference what about the the lonely night and the oh, okay. lost princess, and so it's got to be the, it's yeah. like the sheriff and eleven, obviously. <laughs> Welcome to the Tide Pool. I'm David. This is Roman, and we've no one else. We've no nope. one else today. This is that's it. it. That's it. Maybe that's all we need. Maybe For this trailer. We'll find out if we like kind of devolve as this trailer goes we on. We definitely need them crying. Come uh, back wherever you are. Yeah, please. Uh, Stranger Things. You binge Stranger this. Things season two. Yeah, you binge this, right? I like, binge this. Everybody? All of season one. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Just like sat down, and this one's coming out uh, like right near Halloween, right? It's like October twenty seventh or something. Oh, is it? Yeah. So this is one of the most like. What bingeable we'll shows ever like the pacing and the the way that each episode would end you it was just like you're on a ride it felt it like felt, watching one movie yeah and it felt it felt so fresh even though it was trading on all those 80s tropes like you get it where they're going with it but at the same time it just felt i don't know like i was like oh my god this is new and cool well it's something it's interesting right because all stories really are just like amalgamations of other stories right and other things that we've heard of or have seen and so but they just did it in a way that was mm. uh, like it, they made it work, and it was really awesome. Um, That's cool. Uh, this was also at Comic Con. I, this was also in Hall H. Like I, I would, I would, I was at Call Comic Con, and I would be like, "What? What's next?" And it'd be like, uh, "Riding in the digital age panel." You know what I mean? Like in rooms, and then it'd be like, "Wait, Stranger Things." And oh, it was Hall always H. Hall H. Yeah. Oh <laughs> um, my god. Well, you just gotta if you can't get one of those wristbands. You just, I mean, honestly, just wait outside of a bathroom with a baseball bat and just club somebody. Oh, okay. Just like a violent band. kind of thing. Like yeah, that. mug them or kill them and cut off their hand and get the wristband. Yeah. Okay. Because you can't wait in that line. Anyway, Stranger Things. So I've Stranger heard a lot things. of people like will bribe people once they're there, like have, like once they have the wristband to be like, we'll pay you for it. But like, you don't care that much about Stranger Things. I'll give you 200 bucks for your wristband. The amount of waiting you have to do for that is just insane. You would, I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know, that's what, what I'm saying. That's why you have to get violent. <laughs> okay. Okay, anyway, so Stranger Things Season 2, I'm excited. Let's look. I can't wait for those synth. Hit me with that. That Hit sweet synth. synth. Yeah, come on, Duffer Brothers. Duffer Brothers? Duffer Brothers. Yeah. We gotta do this? Nice. Let's engage. Oh my god. I know, right? I know, I know. I don't remember why I remember it. I don't remember it. Because it's rad. Foreshadowing. Mm. Hey guys, do you see the? Oh no, Will, again. Whoa. Something. It comes. What is it? Mm. I don't know. I felt it everywhere. Uh, uh, darkness falls across the land. Brilliant. The midnight hour is Brilliant. close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize your neighborhood. <laughs> and they actually yes. Really yes. That's great. Whatever is happening is spreading from this place. What is it going to be? Oof. 
On that Netflix, October twenty seventh. There you go. I love Halloween, that they're doing the Halloween it. theme because I On love Halloween. uh holiday themed movies in mm-hmm. general because mm-hmm. that's when you were a kid. You grew up with those like. Do you remember the yeah. earliest Halloween movie with that fucking too scary those trolls man that troll that would lived in the tree. Oh man, that movie was scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, that Ernest. You Halloween can't just put Ernest in it and be like, "This is okay for kids." That was too <laughs> scary. But okay, a couple things. One, I love that. In the first one, they're playing D and D, yeah. and a lot of the storyline is almost like they their D and D game comes to life, right? Oh. Because they're like, they get that character, and they're like, oh, he's in the upside down. Then they have that like monster Demogorgon. character, yeah, Demogorgon, yeah. yeah. And so then in this one, it's like they're the Ghostbusters, and then their their real life is like they're actually Ghostbusters. They have the I fucking, love like, that that thing. touch is brilliant. That's so good. And um, then them on their bikes. Like riding, but they're all in their like Ghostbusters so costumes. Good. Like they're actually gonna like do Ghostbusters so, shit. Sometimes like, you like, get like the first season of whatever, right, or the first book of whatever, and that was like, or the first album of a band, and that's great. And then like the follow up, mm. it's clear that like that was the big thing, and they didn't quite, they're not quite ready to follow it up yet. This doesn't feel like that, and I'm mm. so glad. This looks like they're like, this is the opposite situation where yeah. you're like, here's my beginner stuff. Yeah. And if you guys are okay with this, here's like the big guns. Here we go. Now let's get going. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to like this season and like season three and season four. It's gonna be <laughs> good, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I just want them to go as far as they can go because you could have just been left the last season. Obviously, they left too many cliffhangers or the shit coming out of his mouth and all that to not yeah. do another season. But um, and then I hope they come back and do more D and D stuff. I think they will. They're clearly very into it because the whole first season is based. I, D and D, edit that out. No. But uh, so, and they're all the things that they're refer- you know, referencing in that. And I was like, oh, oh my god, that's in D and D. You know, um, isn't that interesting, right? Like how D and D for so long was like this kind of shunned thing, and now it's like the coolest like uh, mm. movie that's like the most popular show is yeah. like centered around kids playing D and D, and those are the heroes. You know what I mean? Helps me it's... explain it to people where I go, hey, you saw Stranger Things, and people go, okay, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, oh like, shit. Oh, like the kids in, in the Stranger Thing? Yes. That's sick. it, man. You That's figure... sick. Do you come it's to my pretty, party, man? It's come pretty to my party. sick. No, you come and join the party. No, it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, uh, there are a couple super nerdy D and D things that I noticed in the like the the threads they left hanging at the end of season one. Uh, remember how they're like wrapping up the campaign and they're like, and you cut off the Demogorgon's head. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they left like some things like, they literally acknowledged in there some like nerdy threads where they're like, what about the mysterious cave with the weird flowers? Oh, like, so they're kind of referencing things that they can like. Yes, come they reference to what now. about the the lonely knight and the oh, okay. lost princess, and so it's got to be the, it's yeah. like the sheriff and Eleven, obviously. Um, they also mentioned that the next monster they have to fight is the Thessala Hydra. Which is kind of like what that A thing, weird, yeah, crazy, multi-headed. And yes. you kind of see that in the shadows, that huge thing. Like, is that thing going to come to fruition, you know what I mean, in an actual life and not the Upside Down? Because, the, the, I mean, the whole theme of this, right, is like bringing this thing from the, like, the depths coming into our actual world. Like, this kind of transfer from yeah. there from the magical to the real and, and the kind of yes, transfer between totally those two it. things. So, I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Is that thing going to be in... Because if it is, then people are fucked. They're fucked. <laughs> oh, man, we'll and see. And using Thriller, it right? I mean, it's called Thriller trailer, but... I Brilliant. Mean, yeah, it's just... Ah, give it a whole extra spin. I, I love the music in Stranger Things so much. One of, like, the go-to, like, if I'm studying my, like, music that I put on is the YouTube channel um, Stranger Synths, is what it's oh, called. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's, it's like... All of this, like all the extended music from Stranger Things and then other like modern neo synth stuff like that, and I love it. And I can just put it on and jam. Yeah, check I, it out. I do like a brain food on Spotify, which is it's very just yeah. like yeah, electro beats that are just and then Gets you're you kind of groove. like yeah, you're kind of in the groove. I love this this type, just like in that Thor Ragnarok trailer had that like same like jamming heavy synth. With that, like, they know like, what people want right now, man. They know what people want. It's good to be alive right now. And then Eleven's gonna come back because she was the most 
popular like, part. Yeah, like the most like the, who you could, how you could not love. The biggest her. way they could screw up would be to like wait till like almost the last episode before she gets back. Just like bring her back well, episode you two. You notice right how she's right where she died or right where she. Oh, I didn't notice that, but you're right. Totally, she's like she's in the classroom. She's in that classroom. So it's almost like that happened and boom, she's right there. So it seems, I don't know what exact, uh, maybe she came back there, but it seems like she's trying to get back. But through. then what was up with, remember the end, how he's leaving the waffles for her like, yeah. in the woods? Like somehow. In the thing. Well, listen, let's she, not, there were, there were maybe some plot holes at the end of the first were, season uh, that we don't need to poke at too hard. Like what was it? My, my least favorite plot hole in yeah. last season was how they find him at the, at the at the uh, yeah. lab or whatever. Who they find? Will? Um, they find the sheriff at the oh, lab. The he's like poking around. They find him. Yeah, he's, he's like, like the dimensional. Rift. Yeah, and they're like, you know what? Let's just put him back in his trailer. We'll put him back home. Yeah. I mean, I know we killed all those kids. Exactly, but we'll just put this guy in his trailer and just let him do his thing. And that part, I was like, that doesn't make, make any, any sense. sense. He should have been dead immediately. Uh, but. Other than that, you know what I mean? Hey, but the show worked out pretty great. Well, and it's so hard to write a well, show with... And they kind of they kind of suggest that... Well, and then again, at the end of the season, they, they kind of like, get him again. They do, yeah. They're like, he's and he's even more it. fucked up. Yeah. yeah, and then they're like, suggest he has some sort of important knowledge or something that they need. So maybe they'll kind of like uh, give us a little more and fill in those gaps. And That's make true. And that feel better in season two. That's true. So let's not judge too hard yet. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and please request other things. What do you think is going to happen this season? Yeah, more D&D, &D, please. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you soon.